All right, absolutely. Welcome back on the hashtag is still why in the morning. And as always, let us know where you're watching us. We'd definitely be glad and love to see and hear your feedback on the hashtag once again, why in the morning. But before we get to the business of the day, there's an interesting highlight here, and I've just seen Larry Mado post an insight on it. It talks about the East African government introducing a currency note for the East African community named Shiafra. Imagine it's a fake story and it's not true. So according to Larry Mado, who's just retweeted another tweet on that says the east african community now and literally also the east african government will now have a lot of work to just you know ensure that integrity and transparency because this is such a difficult story literally to handle but you know the gang is the handle that has posted this story has has actually government verification meaning that blue check check mark by x literally supported by elon Musk. so i think when it comes to now freedom of speech there's a lot of argument in there, but I love the fact that, you know, X is now advocating for freedom of speech and stories of activism. And speaking of activism today, we are talking about matters GBV and literally what is it and what does it take to talk about it, especially the conversation surrounding some of these rambled outbreaks of, you know, uh, we've seen, in fact, last week there's a video of a young lady, in fact, she's a 19-year-old who was thrown. I don't know if it was thrown, she was thrown or she threw herself from... 10th floor to ground floor and police are still currently investigating but a video footage of it shows her and her companion entering into this uh, private facility. I don't know what happened but we are still waiting for a police report on that one and definitely I'll be here to fill you in. But joining us today to talk about matters a man against GBV, I have two powerful gentlemen I'm being joined live in the studio by Masinde Steven, he's a teacher, youth mentor and a GBV activist uh, alongside Kimani Oshira, he's a youth council Council Chairperson from Kiambu, I believe Kiambu County. Karibuni sana, gentlemen. Great to have you guys. Thank you. All right, I'm going to start with you, Masinde. Um, when it comes to this GBV space, and there's so many stories that we've covered recently, there's been a trending hashtag and femicide KE. We've seen outrageous, heartbreaking stories of young girls being murdered, uh, some of them just disappearing and their body parts being found dumped in literally horrified places. So when we have to start this conversation about GBV, where do we start now that you guys, the both of you have expertise and even a hands-on experience in advocating for matters GBV? Where do we start the conversation? So first of all, it's not uh, where do we start? We have to understand what is it first. Mm -hmm. For example, when you talk about femicide, it's just a part. So GBV yeah. covers a lot. Yeah. GBV is gender-based violence. Yeah. Which gender are we talking about? Is it men or yeah. female? So it counts across all genders. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. But when you talk about femicide, this killing particularly girls or ladies yeah. by a man, not anyone else, not another lady, it is a man. Yeah. So when you look at our country, that, that's what is happening. Right. Hmm? That's what are, it's happening. Mm. Ladies are being killed. Why are they being killed? Yeah, but then why? So we have to look at the root yeah. cause of these killings, the yeah. femicide. What is the root cause? Mm -hmm. so, as so what is the root cause, according to you? It depends. It depends. These mm -hmm. people, it's, that's why we say GBV is a dynamic thing. It is wide. So it depends. We, have, we as men, we have to look at this. I'm killing this person. What will I gain? Mm -hmm. What is it that is making me to kill this girl? Yeah. You know, you know that. Mm -hmm. Because if, if it is a co-parenting is what is making you to maybe the lady says hey bro you are earning 80,000 and I need 40 they say no my money is not maybe that is what is making more men then at the same time you don't have to take care of it mm. so we as men when we talk about the causes mostly it is either family yeah. or the relationship yeah Maybe you can start by defining fast GBV and then we can pick up from the branches of it. Yeah. Thank you. So GBV is any violence or violence against men or women. Mm. Okay? Yeah. So that is it. Then mm. femicide, we have said that it is what? It is the killing of women or girls. Yeah. Particularly. Mm. So that's what we, we, we have. Narrow it down to gender. Yeah. Okay. So we cannot say... We, 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 we are talking about femicide, they'll say boy child, no. Femis, mm. girls only. 
and that's from the one feminine, female, yeah. femicide, right? Thank you. And I love the fact that with the help of social media now, uh, some of these things are being narrowed down to the nitty gritties the, the, and yeah. giving it voice. Uh -huh. Continue. So, when you talk about these, you look at Kenyan. For yesterday, is it yesterday or last week? This, this lady, you have said that she threw herself. She yeah, the yeah. report says. Yeah, the report says, says, says I watched that herself. thing. Then, do you know that the, the man that was there in the house mm. was stabbed? Mm. I think the, the issue now. Yeah. So when you talk about this, this lady, what made it for her to throw herself? Mm. With the, was it that she threw herself or yeah. she was thrown? Uh. Thrown, right? Mm. So From your observation at what you feel, your mindset on it, what do you think? So what I think is mm. we, we, there is a root cause of that. Mm. Before someone makes a decision of throwing or throwing someone out, mm. maybe there is a decision. They went in the apartment. No. This is a girl, this is a, a boy. They had their businesses, right? But maybe mm. there was a uh, disagreement. Mm. Either a lady or a, a man never right. agreed to one of mm. I think that. Mm. So we have, as men, we have to look at, we have to understand and practice the concept. Mm. If someone says, I always make, mm. let us say, I always, let us mm. agree. No is no. No not is no. no doesn't let us not say, no, mm. I'm a man. Unambia nani? Who mm. am I telling? Who is a, a woman before me? I think right. that. Let mm. us just understand the consent and practice it. Right. That one will make us to be sober-minded. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. All right, let me jump to you, Mr. Ashira. Right, to call him Mr. Ashira? Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, so for you, if you, or maybe from some of your past experiences and you come from Kiambu and I understand you're very passionate about this and you've done it for quite some time. When it comes to addressing it, um, for you individually, what are some of the areas you managed to, to address and also even talked about, talked about them? And maybe they were successful and some of them are still missing gaps in as much as this guy is trying to say that, why did you kill this young lady? Uh, thank you for hosting me. I didn't introduce myself, let me do that kindly. I'm Kimani Washira, the chair of Kiambu Youth Council. And the council is a youth organization that uh, deals with affairs of the youths, built under three pillars, social accountability, economic empowerment, and political participation. And under the, the pillar of the social economy, uh, accountability, the, that's where we engage in issues to do with GBV and activism. Right. As you have clearly stated, uh, we are, I have been actively involved mm. in things to do with GBV since I was in campus. I studied in Meru, and right. there we, the, uh, we helped uh, Meru County government under mm. Kirito's stewardship developed right. the first ever gender-based violence policy in Kenya. As uh, most of our people might be aware that uh, Meru is where you unambia mtu nikatia ule, unakata alafu unuliza mashisori badai. Ruto has been quoted saying that. It is, in yeah. the is it Meru or Nyeri? Meru. Oh. Uh, they, are, they are very aggressive. Right. And they are also patriarchal. Yeah. So Mo th there was a need for gender-based violence. Actually, most of the hospitals, the casualties are full yeah. of victims of either GBV uh -huh. or violence in general. Right. So the, the, uh, the campus setting mm -hmm. drove me to see the urge and need to address the things that are not addressed mm -hmm. uh, in our community. Yeah. And uh, it being difficult for a man to right. talk about some of these things. Mm -hmm. uh, I later worked with an organization called uh, Men and FGM. Uh, that uh, is, Men uh, and FGM. Uh, that uh. is led by uh, mm -hmm. Tony Wemba. Right. And uh, that's why I got actively engaged in some of these things. Mm. We have been able to address some of the GBVs, uh, and GBV, as sh he said, mm. is broad. It right. has uh, the violence part of it, mm. physical or emotional, emotional. and mm. then uh, and it's generally cuts across all genders. Right. But then there are various forms that yeah. are now we will say that now this is part, uh, pertaining a certain gender, mm. and you know, uh, and, and now uh, that is uh, separating the two. Yeah. Coming back at home in Kiambu after mm. finishing campus. We have uh, we started engaging and continuing the conversation, and the dynamics are different from maybe in Kiambu, where we mm. find that uh, now Kiambu, we find that uh, the rape cases are high. Rep. That is a GBV, mm. and Rep then mostly for women. For women, uh -huh. and sodomy for young boys. Right. Uh, later, mm -hmm. uh, or rather, when they get they grow old, uh -huh. our ladies uh, we are the second leading county in femicide uh, in Kenya. And that has agitated for us to even draft a petition yes. and um, take it to uh, a call to action petition, appreciating what has been done, but mm. agitating for more to be done by uh, our national government and also the county government 
Yes. Because then uh, we need to ask ourselves, where did the rain start beating us? And mm. that petition tried to answer those questions. Yes. It's also good before I major into the petition to major to, to mention that uh, I was equally involved in organizing and also mobilizing men to attend mm. uh, the popular uh, mm. demonstration that was happening or rather hashtag end femicide. End femicide. Yeah. They call it demonstration, but we are calling it social accountability. Right. Accountability. Right. Holding our people accountable. accountable. Right. Now, let me ask you still again. You mentioned your society, where you come from, the community is a little bit patriarchal, and the ecosystem or the climate of it has uh, people who that are aggressive meaning that there's some underlying issues of anger and resolved, but for me, I point it out to mental health issues. And do you believe maybe it's because um, we are never taught the tools, especially as men, on how to express ourselves and the strategy of clearly approaching things, especially now that most of these are aligned towards the female gender. We are not taught how to, you know, how do your I start a clear conversation with a lady who says no, and I have to take that no and go with it so do you think maybe society needs tools to you know approach and navigate that and especially from where you sit maybe what are some of the missing links that you identified in terms of even advocating for it addressing it and maybe just ensuring that we spread the awareness uh, thank you very much you have correctly highlighted that there is a problem with how we have brought up our community uh, the beginning of the 20, uh, 21st century we st we focus so much on empowering the girl child and we have not informed the boy child how to handle this empowered girl child. Mm -hmm. We are still using the patriarchal system of raising our boy child mm -hmm. since young that are, you're, as a man you're not supposed to do this, as a man you're not supposed to do this. And not some go of to the kitchen, wash, yes. cook. And some mm -hmm. of these things are things that were done pre-colonial. Mm -hmm. After the coron uh, colonialism came, we had uh, emergency, things started changing. Yeah. Uh, gender roles, uh, cooking was no longer a gender role. It's mm. a common thing to do. Even because nowadays, like, because I'm sure as, as a bachelor, campus, you're cooking for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you're in campus, yeah, campus, yeah, yeah. You cook for yourself. Right. But remember, back then in Ushago, we yeah. were told that men should not cook. The question right. is, who will cook for you? Yeah. at campus or later mm -hmm. in life or when you're alone literally who cooks for yeah, you? or when the wife is maybe at uh, yeah. maybe she has just delivered who will cook mm -hmm. for her mm -hmm. that is the conversation we should be having mm -hmm. changing the narrative and mindset mm -hmm. of both genders at tender age starting from probably uh class six going to high school so that uh, the next generation and that is the gap that is existing that mm -hmm. we are we have empowered girl child men uh, and the boy child is not informed how to handle her. Mm -hmm. That uh, this uh, association is mm -hmm. what is ref being reflected today as yeah. femicide. Mm -hmm. And as a, com as, uh, as a community or as an association, we have tried addressing that by doing, uh, uh, reach out to boy schools especially, yeah. day, uh, boy, boy schools and also day boarding that is mixed because we are saying that uh, the people in the society must have this conversation. Mm -hmm. And also we, are, we have been calling into action to uh, highly uh, privileged men to mm. have this conversation because right. if the president talks about it, if right. the governor talks about it, he will change the narrative about the issue. We are also engaging in so social social conversations, starting mm. from memes. You right. know what is driving? We are asking ourselves today, mm. what drives the conversation? We yeah. drives without with memes and stuff. So right. we are creating graphics content, memes, creating mm. awareness, and also changing the narrative, and the thoughts of our people. Yeah. Lastly, mental health mm. is an issue that has, res uh, has resulted to femicide. Mm. People will ask, how? Yeah, and the answer please, is simple. How, yeah. Interesting question. Uh, if a man has, uh, suffers from, uh, he does not believe in himself, and he is told no, he'll start ask asking questions. But then we have not normalized the conversation of no is an answer. And yeah. no should be respected. Like no is a response just like yes. yes. You applied for a job, they told you no, mm -hmm. yes, process it and, and go with it. when yeah. you apply for a job, for example, mm -hmm. and you are given a no, you don't mm -hmm. go bang in the door. You mm -hmm. Literally. When mm -hmm. a lady tells you no, right. it's a no. When a gentleman says no, it's mm -hmm. a no. Stop trying to bring subsidies to, into, uh, mm -hmm. or to change the no. Because mm -hmm. that is where the problem is coming. Mm -hmm. Secondly, no. and for the gentleman, Right. 
back to uh, mental health. Right. We we have not created a support system mm -hmm. such that when I'm told I'm rejected, yeah. how do I do? We don't have uh, men confessing about success stories. I was rejected. I yeah. went my maybe for three months in the dark. Mm -hmm. I came back, found somebody better. Yeah, but it's, it's normal to be told to be told no. I, I think Maybe. it also depends with uh, the mental the mental gravitas of the person. How do you process no? Because I understand there's people when they're told no, literally the world is tumbling down for them. And when somebody receives a yes, that's when they feel affirmed. Uh -huh. So I also think it's a mental health issue. And maybe let me divert it to you as well, so that you have so, something to okay. say in it. So Sakwa, uh -huh. uh, Mr. Oshira has just said something, but has triggered my mind. Mm. Yes, said, when we look at this, charity begins at home. Uh, a child sees, what a child sees is more stuck in the mind than what a child hears. So right. this GBV starts from home. I'm mm. a father. I'm now trying to show masculinity. I'm a man. Mm. Showing it before my children. Eh? I'm doing it with my wife. Or we are you, you have started that. So this young man or young, young, young man will grow up knowing that I, what am I doing? Mm -hmm. If a lady cannot talk before me, my dad has been doing it. My mm -hmm. grandfather has been doing it. So yeah. I come from a community whereby, we, I'm a lawyer, I come from a community whereby some years back, mm -hmm. they say that um, they cannot educate a lady or a girl. Why? Mstiana ataoleka aletengombe. I think that mindset. So if we start and change this one, whereby we come out from the cocoon of the traditions, mm. then this thing of femicide, GBV, will never happen. Yeah. But you know, it's really shocking it's happening, we're almost even almost ending 21st century anyways. It's shocking mm. and heartbreaking that it's happening in the 21st century. But uh, also when you pinpoint to these cases uh, specifically, you realize the first case that brought a lot of massive outrages, the Nigerian ones. Yeah, yeah. The Nigerian ones that, that uh, I think they abducted or they, yeah, yeah, just they, 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 they tortured window. and, yeah. you know, it was just heinous. Mm -hmm. And then we, we've had several as well of uh, a lady who went on a date, she was pushed off 7th floor, 10th floor, 15th floor. Now there's another one again here at Thome. But also when you pinpoint once again, yeah. they are coming from the same, same direction. Side here Thicker Road and especially around the TRM Drive area and then climate here Nigerians and people who are doing Forex. I'm not saying Forex is a bad thing, but the narratives and the, some of the things around it, New Otwa Forex, Nigerians, Kiambu you've mentioned, Nyeri. So uh, why is it that these things are coming from the same, same, same direction? And... Uh, so the thing is, uh, east side, it is maybe they cover mostly. Why? Uh -huh. It is a sensitive area. Oh, it's a sensitive area. This is a capital, area. right? Maybe right. Uh -huh. as, as maybe activists, we have to, you know, for example, what he did during mm. end of the femicide, yes. what happened, mm. I was not there, I know. But yes. when we go deep in the villages, this thing is mm -hmm. happening more than... Yeah. What they are covering. There's something women beating. It's a, I think it's an it's African thing. Yeah. There's so men who believe a, a woman should be beaten for her to be sensible. Thank you. So that's why I was telling you yeah. we have to change that perspective. Right. More of village boys. Like me, I come from the village. I was right. about that. Do you hmm? beat? I don't. Uh, if, when a lady, for example, I've been rejected. Mm. Yeah. It's not that. Why? Mm. She has her own opinion. Let us give them time to express themselves, to express their views. Mm. I'm telling you, no. It's because of this and this, bro. Mm. Eh? Do, don't engage in fight. She doesn't like your period. Yeah. You're not her type. You know, there's a lady yeah. who told me that. Uh, yeah. She told me one thing. Mm. You're ugly. You, come Ooh, there, you know what? Shish. You know, come <laughs> I, I told her one thing. Yeah. I was created ugly so that you were created beautiful so I can see you. Oh, I love, that the way the end. I love the way you took the negativity yeah. and hey. threw it back yeah. as flowers. That, that's <laughs> the end. That, that, that was the end. For real, that's what, yeah. that's what you did? That's what you did, for sure. Are I you sure? Well, lie be lie. You swear? Well, lie be lie. S swear. I, uh, I'm, I, kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> so, right. then we talk about this. Uh -huh. When we talk about GV, GBV, yeah. mm. let us not victim blame, mostly. Yeah. Yeah, let there's us not victim blame the blaming, victims. Literally. Hey, for yeah. example, we are talking too much about these ladies. Mm. Before I went with this lady, she had dressed 
Mm. In a, ask about and this they usually on, in the reports they yeah. usually ask and how are you dressed so yeah. that this man That's the thing. You. Let yeah. us not let us not victim blame. Uh. For example, when you victim blame, this girl will not be open. She will uh. never. Maybe uh. she has been done this and then she escaped. She mm. came in the said Sakwa, you know what? Mm. Aye, when I share with Sakwa, right. he will start judging me negatively. I see mm. that. So we have mm. to build safe environment for mm. these girls or ladies. And how do you build safe environments? I, I think we talked about that in our intro yeah. with my co-host. Uh, there's no s spaces for speaking out. Yeah. Even for men, like uh, I pointed out, a man who's been sexually abused, the question would be, are you the one who was sexually abused or you're the one who was abused? Because no, people will not believe you. And also it's odd for a man to say, oh, I was raped by who? <laughs> Literally, because <laughs> you're the you. man, <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. By who, right? Yes. So yeah. one thing, we have, to, we have to come with the policies. Mm -hmm. We as youth, we have to. For example, we cannot say that the government should do it. It mm. cannot start Why not up. the government? Look at this. Uh -huh. It is not the government doing it. It is us doing it. And then we push it to the government? Yeah. So okay. the, the bottom line is mm. us yes. to change okay. ourselves. Mm. Okay? When I accept it is no, it is no. Mm. After accepting that, that's when now we, we start telling these girls, you know what, if you have a problem, yeah. come share. We'll okay. do it together. We are in, into this together. Oh no, yeah. This girl will feel like, hey, if Masinde can give me a listening or a, a, a shoulder to lean on, why not? Should I not open to him? But when a lady comes and I say, well, it's a billion. I think that maybe mm. you are married, the, the, your wife has just messed up a little bit. You know, you can be a baby, kama a I think that. So mm. we have to change. We have mm. to change that. Right. Yeah. Let us just create an environment whereby these ladies have a voice. Right. They have a voice to express themselves. Let yeah. us not victimize them more. Yeah. Let us not make them unsafe. Right. Sure, yeah. I agree. Uh, Mr. Shira, let me come back to you. You've mentioned your community. They're very aggressive. But then uh, you mentioned story in empowerment. Do you believe that empowering the boy child uh, will also help in alleviating these issues. But then also I, I had a conversation, Andrew Kib at some point said uh, he feels like society is creating weak men because uh, most of them absent dads, absent mothers. So <laughs> they come from a background of confusion or if the dad and the mom is absent, they don't care about them. So the men that we have today are broken men who don't know what they're doing. Like you're just trying out life. If it works, let it work. But then you don't have the tools of navigating through and even understanding that, hey, as a man, there's some things I need in my life. There's a voice I need to hear as a guiding light. There's a way I need to act and react when I'm in a group of women or in a setup where it's all women. But by the way, in the whole entire world, women are more than men. Like the ratio towards women, men, uh, men, men are of a lesser fraction as compared to women. So either way, women are always gravitated towards men because the number is very small. So from what you've observed, what do you think maybe should be done? Uh, before I come to my observation, yeah. uh, there is something he mentioned, and I want to change the narrative, I'm at the yeah. view, yeah. Uh, or the, the reason why cases within uh, Vika CBD are high, yes, it is the, the magnitude of how the things are done that is are making right. news. Mm -hmm. Some of these cases are reported elsewhere, but mm. probably maybe it was, uh, she, she was hanged or maybe suffocated. But right. the magnitude of how it's done is what is mm. ma making it news right. or m more right. trending mm. in Nairobi. Yeah. Secondly, so it means there's places it's happening but it's not being reported. It is reported, but mm. it does not peak. Yeah, as the ones as in, in the Kiambu side. Yes, and side. yes because uh, okay. of the magnitude of how things are done. You right. find that... Or the act is committed. Yes, the, the mutil mutilations of right. parts. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. brings the point of probably most of the parts that are missing are exported. So yeah. it, and it like changes the, hearts, the conversation. The genitals, yeah. etc. Sec and uh -huh. also about uh, spirituality, some of those things are used to do spirituality. So it's cultic. It's cultic. Okay. But then also you also to understand, need to understand that this region, also uh, the people here are aware. The ladies will always come out to, to fight for their rights. Yeah. That, that brings the agitation. Uh, mm. Back to what I have observed in uh, Story Akibe. And being in Story Akibe, very true. Do you believe he's right? Society has weak he's men? He's partially okay. right. Partially right. Mm -hmm. Because uh, 
the, the, more, if you listen to him well, and I'm sure most of the men will disagree and others will agree. Mm. Uh, he is raising a point, a silent point. And the point is, w w the way we are raising our men is not the way the community is shaped. Mm. The community is changing, and we are raising a man the way we used to raise him or her, him, in a few years back. And then there is the way we are raising the town man and the Ushago man. Totally different. Oh, so there's a, there's a, there's a line between... There is a line. Rural, a man raised uh, in the rural area and a man raised in, in the, the urban, urban area. city. Okay. And Maybe what are some of the differences now I would that you've say that, that the, those who are whipped mostly uh -huh. are, are men from urban. Because that areas. is where... Urban. Oh, they are the weak men. Oh, they are the weak According men. According to okay. Kibbe's point, uh, okay. they are the people who have been raised from... Most of them single parenthood. All right, yeah. Because remember back uh, the African adults in society, mm. Mm. raised men, if your dad was not there, either missing by death or he's not there, mm. you are adopted by the uncle or he will be there for you. But mm. in Nairobi, it's Kabibi, raised by women, <laughs> according to Kibe. Mm. And, and it makes sense because you don't have a father figure. But that does not also mean that you should be aggressive to any other lady who is equivalent to your mom. Mm. Mm. Okay. Uh, Something else that has come uh, to our attention, mm. especially in the settings of uh, campuses, mm. uh, there is so much ex expectation for a man that when we get to university, mm. we need to have a girlfriend. Mm. And if I'm rejected, and a that is... A bad thing or a good thing? Uh, I'll not comment it about depends. is this bad or good, mm -hmm. because maybe it's of age, mm. but then that narrative, is making a lot of men mm. now go to approach ladies without having a need to. Like you are just approaching because you are told when you go to campus, you need to have a girlfriend. Fresh but you are never told why to have that girlfriend. Mm. Back to the society, how we are raising mm. our people. And uh, I've seen a text from doc Dr. Juliet from Kiambu, who is a mm. former CC, and mm. they are with Diga, and they are saying that we need to fully restructure the conversation of right. how our boy child are brought up mm. in our community. Mm. Because if we empower informed, we don't have to empower the boy child. We only have to keep him informed. Oh, keep him informed, not empower. Because but then what is this empowerment? You know, empowerment this, empowerment that. But also, uh, I noticed most empowerment associations are only for women. women. I know for Inua Dada, there's one, I don't know, called Dada Sphere. We cannot <laughs> mention women. Women. Yes, there are so many. Yeah. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but then uh, this empowerment, what is it? What is empowerment, by the way? I would say that uh, if you look at the things that they do, mm. they keep the girl at par with what is happening in the world. Mm -hmm. They also provide dignitary packs because we understand that most of our ladies uh, may have challenges, financial challenges back at home to mm. maybe especially in primary school when uh, um, menstruation starts and it's good to have that conversation as men yeah. they don't they don't have access to such as dignity pack and mm. then they are forced to do weird things with buddha buddha guys or the a guy who can provide that so the yeah. empowerment comes in maybe providing those dignity pack and informing them right. but then as a man i went back to what kibbe said we have been unable to reach out to our boys mm. uh, our boy our boys remember mm. Uh, most of us who grew in Mushago, we grew with torn vinyasas because we used to kiasa ya shuda ndi unenda nayo kucheza, unafiga dufu palaro, unafiga unatereza kidogo, it has patches. Mm. Nobody is trying to reach, though those, it may have changed a bit, but nobody is trying to reach out to that mm. man, yeah. to that future man, mm. to that future president or whoever he is going to be. He is mm. raised in a way that he is almost secluded because he is a man. And a man. Because you'll figure it out. You'll figure it, you'll out. Figure it out. You are a and man. And eventually, sometimes, it's true, you figure it out as a man yeah. without empowerment. I know so many success stories of men who, literally, if you look at any man who is successful, they, they always have a sad story. Oh, like you mentioned, Ton Kinyasa, no shoes, never, never ate two meals a day. It was only one meal a day. No father, no mother, or mm. I ran away from home. And they're now billionaires, literally. They yeah. figured it out, yeah. right? And that's why I see we need to keep the boy child informed about mm. what is happening right. in the world and also to their fellow ladies. We right. also need to train them right. on how to handle these informed ladies. Because as I said earlier, we are raising somebody to 
who this that is going to meet a lady who mm. he was raised to. You know, we said that he, we are raising this young man mm. in a bit traditional way, that mm. a man is not supposed to do this, a man is not supposed to do this. But or as a man you're expected to do this and yeah. this, or and this, this and that, and when you're not able to, definitely that cuts you away from and masculinity and being lesser. a man. Ma. Right. You're seen as a lesser of a man, of less a of man. a man. Mm -hmm. Wow, let me, let me transfer that. I love uh, Second Lady uh, uh, Rigadi, uh, DP, uh, Ms. Uh, Rigadi mm -hmm. Gashago, uh, mm -hmm. Pastor yeah, Dorcas here, yeah. to be specific. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah she's uh, advocating for the rights of the boy child. Yeah. And like she's, uh, he's poignantly said it, uh, maybe we need to keep the boy child informed. But do you believe empowering the boy child will make them learn and know how to treat women so that we never had cases of you know, femicide anymore, especially in Kenya? Thank you. Before I respond to that, I might, I might just say something about the, what briefly, you are saying. Briefly, please. Yeah. So when you talk about this, maybe this thing is happening because of the traditions that we have picked. Mm. That's what he has said. I'm just paraphrasing okay. it. The tradition, we have left it. Mm. Then when you talk about empowering, he has said we inform them. Let them be aware of what is happening. Because there is a, the, that is 2020 during covid when uh, I went and uh, we, we had a campaign, Future with No Violence, that is coaching boys into, into men, mm -hmm. whereby I was talking to slum kids, boys mostly, mm -hmm. and we had flashcards. Every day we were to teach them mm -hmm. abusive language. So when at, we don't use abusive language against, mm -hmm. are you seeing that? So when we inform them, when you abuse a lady, you're doing nothing. Because the Bible even say we are created in God's own image and likeness. So let us bring these boys. Mm. Let us not say these guys have been given um, sanitary towels, okay? Mm. And boys are being left. Mm. Let us look on the ways Boys are being given boxers, by the Thank way. Thank you. So that's what you have. It is it's part dignitas. Of it, right? I have uh, witnessed that with dignitas. There is yeah. a group co called dignitas. Right. That's the best group I've ever seen. They're giving out boxers? They're even the vests. Okay. Are you seeing that? They ah. give out the uniforms from the shoe. Ah. Yeah. Then the vest and boxers. Mm. They don't say that because we are giving out sanitary towels for let us live on uh, uh, any boys. There's mm. no. Okay. So what we have... Why are they being given boxers? I'm, I'm trying to wonder. Why should somebody give you an innerwear? An innerwear. So as look a at means this. to empower you. Look at this. Hmm. Why are ladies be given sanitary towels? Because they bleed every month. So and it's natural. A boy also needs a boxer. Okay. For example, let me tell you, we have a, we talk about the tail, right? They have it. And they are now maturing. They are preteens, whereby there are changes. So mm. will this young man walk without a box and then something happens? Okay. Which is what will happen? What will happen eh? if he walks with eh, oh, the tail will start itself doing wonders. <laughs> <laughs> Are you seeing that? Hey, so the books hey, hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Hoy. Okay, I yeah. get it. So <laughs> thank you. So, yeah. right. so you we have to talk about it. Yeah. They, are, they have to be given so that they mm. know it is my responsibility yeah. to have this. It yeah. I have to have this because of A, B, C, D. But for me, I think it's poverty because if somebody's giving you in our ass mm. for, to empower you, it means there's so much that needs to be done. That's like the last of the most third world country. If being mm. given a boxer is going to empower you, literally. So that's poverty. We, we, cannot, we cannot say boxers itself yeah. can work. Teach them. Yeah. You know, for example, I have boxers. How many boys will I reach? Maybe to help him. Yeah. The reason Let's why jump in. Uh, that is done is because when you call ladies and they go back with something and yeah. remember this man might not know what the, 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 the class four of class yeah. does not know what the read was given he mm. feels secluded oh, so okay. in the spirit of showing them he is also equal mm. and we they are given a that dignity back probably the boxer or even a set geometrical set but then you know yeah. the, the set is given to both genders yeah. Because it's a it's a education necessity, so that he can feel that he also he was given something that is private yeah. to him as a man. Mm. It's done that, and then we must also agree that most of the parents, the, the, the way we raise, a uh, class four yeah, boy yeah, child yeah. will only have one boxer for yeah. entire week. From so just year end. That. Yeah. And, and also, there's like shame <laughs> when I take a boxer. <laughs> hey. Hey. Uh, hey. It's not shame. compared to a lady, the mother will understand she's so going through yeah menses. Yeah. We remember that that he's observing. And right. we said that monkey see, monkey do. Mm. And we, uh, as a kid, 
what you see more is what you tend to practice than what you hear. Yeah, so right. when he feels that he's secluded, he'll also, he might, that separation and rift might be a chaotic rita. Mm -hmm. And maybe, uh, uh, and also I've seen a friend called uh, Fedor Gwasi uh, mm -hmm. from Youth Fund. She's yeah. saying that this conversation cannot end without mentioning the role of drug and substance abuse mm -hmm. in cases of femicide. Right. Because you go there with the lady, uh, a man in a lady goes to a club, Mm. Take shisha, take uh, weed and other drugs, alcohol, alcohol mm -hmm. name them, even hard drugs. They go to a room. Mm. Maybe the read is not uh, when they were they, they didn't have that conversation, but of what is going to happen in those rooms. And then when uh, a man makes a move, advances or remote, all advances, yeah. Yeah. when the read says no, probably because yeah. most of the time they don't take as much as we do. Yeah. Or rather, the insecurity, them, in the insecurity in themselves. Mm -hmm. Maybe we need to do this later when you are sober or stuff. Yeah. Uh, the man, because he's under influence, does things that he may not do when he's sober. Yeah. And that's so. You want you, you, what, you, what you're saying is, that in some of these cases, those that have committed these heinous acts committed them out of their sane minds. Yes, because of they were to intoxicated. No, not insane. Right. Not insane. Uh -huh. When I'm using this drug. Okay, it's not that you're insane. You are using something that you know. So it is what you call uh, the judgment, impaired judgment. Impaired judgment. Right. Okay. So this person will will have impaired judgment. He cannot judge it. For example, I'm saying, Sakwa, I'm meeting a friend of mine, maybe a, probably a lady. When you look at this, what is happening? Femicide. Where is it happening? Where mm. does it start from? Starting from a club. If you look at all the corners, it's reported. from the club. Even from Starlet who they met. Thank at you. An event he made that, yeah. A club, yeah. then Airbnb. Airbnb. Thank Actually, you. most so of them. It is Airbnb. going there. So uh. when we talk about, because I thank the deputy president, Rigadiga so Shagwa, he was in Krinyaga, and mm. he said, we have to look at these stories of illicit a, brew. Alcohol yeah. and illicit brew. Mm. So we have to, to limit. Mm. Also, Actually, they permanently ended sale of alcohol in they, they, It's not permanent. They cannot mm. permanently end. But they can't permanently end it. Yeah, they do not end permanently. Why? Mm -hmm. One of the things they fear is losing taxes. You know, they are creating yeah. money for the government. <laughs> so they cannot end it. What we have to, we yeah. have just to tell these young people, yeah. if you're using it, use in it moderation. responsibly. Even mm. if when you take a task, mm. okay, can, it is written, <laughs> drink, responsibly if you take two mm. your mind will be okay but mm. someone is taking 10 of them yeah but i also believe like you won't just wake up like today and go to a club and start taking or downing 10 muzingas thank you there could be there must be something underlying it's either you're having fun and celebrating mm -hmm. that's what i believe my own sentiments you're celebrating your achievements mm -hmm. or there's something you're trying to hide Mm -hmm. Ama, there's something you're fighting and you're trying to find an escape route. <laughs> so, so I don't believe like you can just down two so muzingas and you're saying. normal and you're chilling. That's what you're saying. Mm -hmm. That's what you're saying. First, we are saying this one. We are not open uh -huh. to, to, to tell a friend what is ailing us. Yeah. Are you saying that? Yeah. If I'm open to you or I'm open to Ashira, I would just say, Ashira, you know what? Mm -hmm. I'm going to this, bro. So mm -hmm. how, how, how can I come out of it? Yeah. We are not open. Yeah. Men... Yeah. Because that's how, how that's how you've been met. Yeah. But it does not apply literally like w once you say your problems, you'll definitely seek help. You remember what happened to Omosh? They helped him. He, he came back again saying he needs help, right? So Was that an, a demonstration of what happens to men? No, that's not what happens to men. The, okay. That was his personal. So how many men do we have that are going through similar experiences that the are men, silent? For example, I've yeah. worked with people. I live in uh, the, the Islam Kayole, right? Mm -hmm. So there, you get boys, maybe someone, the father died, mother mm -hmm. died, mm -hmm. you know? This, this young man, he wakes up and he says, Yeah, Mbao. No, no. Una mwangalio na mwambia, Mbao, that is 20 bob now. Mbao, ni? Bana ntakatu kukula. I think that. Mm. Maybe the, the child is in form one, form, or a young man is in form one, form two. That's mm. why I said they are going through. And I've said in future, mm. in future, no, in, in future might be tomorrow or mm. next, next hour. 
Mm. We have to, we have to come out and talk mm. about the issues as men. Let us not die with them. But you know there's a f formula and a strategy. I don't believe you can just start screaming right now. Hey, you I need 10,000. You cannot scream. Of course, it's reasonable. It's reasonable for, talking. Yeah. yeah. So we cannot, I, I cannot just wake up and say, hey, you know what? Mimi, demo men kata. Eh? I've seen it happen on eh? socials. Eh? Uh, there's, there's last week, there's a guy who went on TikTok. He was crying. I don't know if you saw sometimes, the video. Sometimes, we don't yeah. know sometimes. And people sympathize Sakwa. and even they ask for the person number. Sakwa and he Sakwa got help. Sakwa, let me tell you. So, yeah, Sakwa, I think it depends. I, I like using Swahili depends, yeah. proverbs. What do you say? Kwamba, kazi ya mbwa ni nzuri sana. Kazi ya mbwa ni nzuri. Kusaidia kuwinda. Mm -hmm. This, kuwinda. Akimaliza kuwinda hivi, akileta kitoweo. One of Kuzomboa. So the guy was it literally asking for help or looking for money? I think he was looking for help the way he was heartbroken. I think it, it depends with processing some of these things. Yeah. Right. Exactly. That's what I believe. I believe so. yeah. The reason why we're having this conversation about sharing is yeah. because we have not created safe spaces yeah. to share. Yeah. And, and is it bad to talk about it? It is not. And, but there is little information of even the existing safe spaces. For instance, mm. I know people called Me Moposma. In, uh, they do online webinars every week. Yeah. You, you, they advise you to create a fake Google account so that you can join with a fake name. So to just hide your identity. To hide yeah, your identity. identity right? You can come, vent, speak yeah. out, have people who are also, maybe if you need professional counseling, yeah. They're also going to link you up with a professional counselor who right. will never know who you are. You'll attend mm. those sessions online for free. And but help. this information yeah. may not be available or is yeah. not available yeah. in the social media. Also, not everyone is online yeah. or on TikTok or Facebook yeah. and Instagram. And uh, the conversation should be, how do we ensure that the already existing safe houses or mm. safe spaces mm. are utilized at most? And then how can we create more? We should mm. be thinking about, should we be thinking about a policy mm. making it mandatory mm. for every health center, starting mm. from the dispensary, mm. back at Kwaregi uh, village. Mm. That is a very remote village in Kiambu that mm. has a, a, a trained psycho uh, psychiatry, uh, they're called what? Psychiatrists or psychologists. Psychologist, yeah. Yes. Mm. And all other structure that require, mm. is required to help our mm. people. Mm. We should be talking about how can we create those safe spaces, mm. but not shaming those who okay. are coming up. We mm. know that people will always take advantage mm. in Kenya, outside Kenya. We mm. always take advantage of systems. But mm. how can we make sure that those who are in their need mm. of help can mm. reach out? We should also think about uh, as a requirement mm. for our pastors, they can be the first people to, and religious leaders that cast across both the denominations and religion. Mm. Imams, can we uh, train some of them to be, uh, to, to, to do this counseling for our people? So, mm. so that they can, we can have safe spaces within our community where everybody can be able to reach out, regardless of are they saved or not? Are yeah. they Christians or Muslims? We yeah. should create safe spaces. And some of these spaces will also help uh, in addressing a lot of underlying issues because mm. all these issues to do with GBV go back to mental health. And mm. when our society and our community mm. are mentally well, well mm. we address a lot of issues. You'll right. find that a Buddha Buddha guy driving, but akili yake haiko kwa barabara, jua yeah. kona issues zake, mm. eh, not, not me, me, zinazo kuja kwa mental health yake. He'll, mm. Kick your car out of Mugongaju, Hungary Barabara. We mm. can be able to, if we are able to invest in uh, safe spaces mm. and have trained professions, mm. volunteers maybe, and others to support those trained professions, mm. then I think we can solve around 20 to 30 percent mm. of problems that are uh, rotating around our tables. Mm. Because generally that will go a wrong way in even improving our economy yeah. because people will become more productive. Yeah, and when you flip the coin, uh, GBV, men are also being beaten, abused, and killed. Yes. But uh, uh, the, the shared part is, of course, women because they are massively vulnerable. So uh, how do you encourage men to come out and say, hey, manzeni kona bibi na lani pige ile mbaya. But when you look at the narratives that have been coined on that is that umekaliwa kama chapati, 
as a man, you should already, like the nature, because you're a man, you already have a voice, but it's not always that you always oh, have a voice as a man. So how can we also uh, create that gap so that we help men that are being beaten? and also killed. And most of the cases reported are very few, even the rep, uh, mm -hmm. the rep cases. So remember there's this activist, Dude Anajito, we know Ama Otieno. He came out and said he was sexually abused. harassed or abused by a lady and everybody turned in on him. They were like, you enjoyed it, definitely. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, you enjoyed it, stop lying to us and don't even talk about it. How is it possible to do that? One, one thing that we need to start doing is educate the duty bearers. Where do you report when this happens? In a police station. If you find in the gender desk, and that has been done, and it's the, we have various police stations with the gender desk, but you find somebody who is talking the way he wants, or has his own issues, and victim shame, you will go to more depression than you were. So the first thing is we need to educate, train our duty bearers. Mm. Secondly, change the conversation about our, in our community. Because these things are happening. Mwanaume mm. anapigwa huko, na bibi, eh, girlfriend anaenda krabu, anapiga, mustana, eh, anapiga kijana kofi. Mm. And if you get aggressive, you will uh, you'll be on the receiving end. So we need to change the, co have that conversation that it is right to speak up. Mm. Because silence kills. Mm. Secondly, where do you speak up to? That is the next stage. The duty bearers, that day, we mm. also uh, go, that goes back to creating safe spaces. Like mm. the way in the American, you see when they, uh, when somebody is recovering from drug, there are the AA's meetings. We yes. need to have such meetings within our community. Rehabilitation state. centers, wellness centers, etc. Before even you go yeah. to rehabilitation, yeah. we start with the, the small the AA meetings. Yeah. You know, you have been abused. He has been abused. You yeah. can meet, mm. give each other, talk about it. Mm. Maybe mm. nine weeks speaking up. Uh, is, is, uh, is, share, is solving the problem halfway, mm. yeah. and then he'll give his account and he'll say, and mm. if he's doing well, then mm. I, must, I must also so progress. Yeah, Masinde, uh, we, we are finalizing on that. Mm. If you are to react on that, uh, on a man being beaten by the wife, mm. uh, the question is, mm. mm. Bibi ana nechapa ila mbaa sana. I don't know what to, if you were to uh, imagine the reaction from your fellow men in the Kikao. But you know, if <laughs> the reaction will depend, mm -hmm. are these people sensitized? Uh -huh. Okay? So you have to go and air out your views according to the, the setting, the environment. Is the environment safe? Is the environment safe, right? Mm. Is this, is the, are these people sensitized about that? Then... I would like to say that if, if we are seeing that duty bears, for example, there is a time I went to Soweto police station. Mm. Then I met a lady. I was talking about there is a girl who was uh, maybe harassed by a teacher, right? Mm. Then the girl was going to report. Then this mm. lady said, Nini wali mwanaume? Munapenda kushikashika watoto wasichana. Are you seeing that? Then you have just gone telling her, Politely. So the duty bearer is the one first to be mm. educated on how to handle this matter. Mm. Yeah. If we do that, everything will be fine. Th so also the government should come out and also make these young people know they are important. Mm. Because we are talking about women repsit. Women rep, it's totally for ladies. No, mm. are you seeing that? Does that be become a threat to the men? Yeah. No, no. Because oh. why? Let me tell you one thing. Mm. These people, when we are created same, equally, mm. Mm. why are we saying ladies first? I'll so that I'll one, that one, mm. we are creating negativity. Okay. Negativity in this man, saying I'm superior than a lady. She has right. to be assisted. Another thing, two mm. third gender in the mm. parliament. The it gender. is okay. Uh -huh. It is okay for it. But how are they bringing it? All right. You could say to that gender for ladies, they ha we have youth, mm. two seats, right? Then these youth, we have uh, female oh. and male. I right. talk about that. All right, uh, let me just sample, pull the f feedback very fast because we are exiting. Uh, Willy Bazu, Anasema, good morning from Kitale, Birunda. And by the way, I, 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 I'll come to you shortly and you'll just give us your parting shot. Uh, JJ Ozengo, because we are out of time. Mombasani following, and then uh, Wasu, Anasema, kuna hii tribe inatumia jina ladies, yuna patanjiri ni mwanaume. I do have a friend, by the way, mwanyanali, anajito wanjiru. All right, JF Dibo, Anasema, Val, hiyo 
Eh, yeah, well, well. Yeah. I've seen you. Okay, Deno and Sururu and Asema, all the way from Cap Kele, so Met County, and then Edgar Hansa Monyahururu, I believe so. Yahururu tuned in. Okay, thank you for that. Uh, I think uh, that's what's up. More feedback? All right, cool. Continue talking to us. We'll definitely be sampling the feedback offline. We have to go in less than 30 seconds. Where can people find you on social media? Like we are done. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm Kimani Washira. Can find you on social media? I'm Kimani Washira in all social media handles. Yeah. And if you allow me, let me say hi to my mentor, that is uh, Wanjiko Biga, yeah. Dr. S, uh, Dr. Joseph, uh, Doc, Dr. Lee Steven, and all the people we work with. And lastly, then shout out to the, uh, the Office of the Government Spokesperson, read by Isaac Maura. All right, thank you. Uh, thank you. You can find me on Facebook, that is Masinde Jr. On Instagram, Masinde. Uh, TikTok, Jifunze Kiswahili. And then, um, let's, let me just uh, shout out to my boss, that's Madam Emily Alum, the husband, Mr. Raphael. My dad and my best sister, she ha was having birthday yesterday, Nancy Masinde. If, even if it's late, but her birthday is, then otherwise, Hope this thing will end forever. Waluya na salamu. Lazimunga salamu. Lazimunga salamu out to our home. Like, anyway, that's all right. Thank you. And you guys, I appreciate you. And I hope this conversation will continue. We can't end this conversation. It's endless. Literally. Yes. Right. You should not eat grass. Not because you are proud, but because of who you are. If she says no, let it be a no, and it's respected. And also, otherwise, if the man says no, our ladies respect it is a no don't right. try to change it thank you very much so we have overrun it so we can continue <laughs> thank you guys for coming through my name is brian sanko we'll see you tomorrow for innovations and entrepreneurship tuesday enjoy your monday